Looking for something to do? Head south to the lower right-hand corner of Arizona for some sunny, cool temps, good food, and picturesque landscape perfect for cycling. Here to tell us more about why you should make the trip down to Cochise County is Stu Carter. All right, Stu, so you are the co-founder of El Tor de Zona. Tell us about that. We started it uh, this year. We had 719 riders on our very first ride out of the box. We had people from 35 different states in Canada come down and spend three days here in Sierra Vista, Tombstone, and Bisbee, learning the roads and enjoying the sky. And I uh, had a great time at the Sierra Vista Veterans Park. Uh, a lot of people pulling fifth wheels. Uh, it was great. So how long have you been involved with cycling? About 35 years. Um, in 1987, I played football for the Air Force in Europe and tore the ACL and MCL on my right knee, lived in Holland, saw people riding bikes and figured if I bought one and raised the seat high enough to bend and straighten my leg 80 times a minute, it would get stronger. And uh, five years later, I was the U.S. National Military Time Trial Champion. Uh, I won the European Regionals and uh, the rest is history. Okay, so what does Cochise County offer cyclists? Well, it offers uh, 6,219 miles, square miles of roads and country and mountains and dirt and gravel. So it's a hugely rare uh, environment to ride and it's an elevation that's that's higher than most other places in, in southern Arizona. So why does the elevation matter when riding? Air is clean, it's pristine, the views are uh, majestic, it just makes you want to get out and enjoy. So what events are there throughout the year? Well we started the Sky Island Tour six years ago. Um, we've raised about $104,000 for mental health for the local uh, National Alliance of Mental Illness Southeastern Arizona's chapter. Um, we also have the El Tour de Zona. Um, we have a couple of triathlons for, for youth here in the local area, and we have the uh, high school and middle school mountain bike uh, squads that participate in state championships every year. They do very well. So what else can cyclists do when it comes to Cochise County? Off-roading is amazing. We have a local group that work to improve the perimeter uh, rides up in the mountains here. So the trails have been worked on and made more safe. Um, so we've got volunteers to constantly work on those. We also have uh, in the local uh, Cochise County area of Sierra Vista, um, 29 miles of multi-use path and 19 miles of bike lanes. We have um, safe routes that go north, south, east and west throughout the city. And then we also work really hard to improve the safety of the cycling environment and improve awareness to car drivers that there's bike riders out here. So Stu, if someone's interested in going cycling out there and they've never visited Cochise County, what can they plan for? Or how should they prepare? Well, if you like it cold, come today. It's 39 degrees outside. If you like it warm normally throughout the year, uh, you can come out here and, and enjoy sun and more sun and more sun and warmth. Um, be prepared to hydrate and be prepared to take um, time and look around. We have marvelous vistas here. In fact, um, we call um, the Sky Island Tour, we named it after the Sky Islands. And if you look it up, it's, it's the premise is that we've got mountains that are surrounded by desert here and they have their own ecosystems. So they have their own um, animals and uh, lifestyle that you can see from afar. Um, so you come upon it and it's just like a mountain coming out of the ocean, but it's surrounded by desert. Wow, that sounds beautiful. All right, Stu, thank you so much for joining this afternoon. And if you want to learn more, visit explorecoaches.com.